Ever since I bought the sedan, it has had a weird, like, rear end clunk. It's not really a clunk, it's like, it sounds like a thud. Like, it sounds like the trunk isn't staying closed and it's just bouncing off the latch. That's what it sounds like, but the trunk works perfectly fine. I thought it was the wing initially when I bought the car, I thought, because I kind of knew the wing was mounted like shit, so I thought it was just the wing bouncing off the trunk, but I took the wing off and the thud it was still there, it hasn't gone away. It sounds like a spare tire is loose and it's just bouncing around, or the trunk is just bouncing around, it sounds like that. And it's, it's really frustrating to me because I can't figure out what it is. It only makes the noise when I hit like a pothole or a divot in the road like fairly hard. It doesn't make the noise like when I launch the car, when I clutch drop it in first gear, when I shift really hard. When I corner really hard, when I'm on the brakes really hard, when I'm driving the car hard, it doesn't even make the noise. It only makes the noise when I hit like a pothole that I didn't mean to hit, you know what I mean? Jouncing or hitting the something really hard, it just, that's the noise it makes. And I've been low key looking for it for a very long time. I have had this car on the rack at school multiple times, I've had it on the rack at work multiple times, I've had it here at the house on jack stands multiple times. Just down there, shaking down the suspension, trying to find something, looking for a shot bushing, playing any of the control arms, and I cannot find anything wrong with the suspension. Of course, all the bushings and all that stuff are kind of worn. The diff bushings are not in the best shape, but there's like, there's not enough movement. I can't replicate the sound by prying on stuff. So, what I'm thinking it is, is I think it's something inside the trunk, like a trim piece or something is not, it's just like bouncing around out there. And I even like, I thought it was a cracked subframe, so I got the whole thing up and I was inspecting all that stuff. It already has the reinforcement plates like welded onto the spot. So today, we're gonna be gutting the trunk. Like it almost sounds like this. It, so it sounds like a little bit of a deeper sound than that, but it's something... I don't know, man. All this shit's like super loose. And so I'm just gonna try and find the noise by ripping all this stuff out. Now, the next project for the sedan, aside from like refurbishing the wing and all that stuff, the next major thing we're gonna be doing on the sedan is a full suspension rebuild. So I wanna drop the entire subframe out of the car. Everything suspension from the drive shaft back is gonna come out and then full refurb on that. So that's the next project for that. So I am going to be rebuilding the whole suspension system. If it turns out to be something suspension related, it's gonna get fixed anyway. So I think we're just gonna take all this stuff out from inside, all of this little trim, as much of it as I can get out. And then hopefully if it's something in here, the noise will go away. So it's just old and a lot of this shit just isn't secure. Like all of these little pins are not even here anymore. So like that could be rattling around. It could be something like in here just moving around. I don't know, so we're just gonna start taking shit out and hopefully the noise goes away. I know like the little speaker deck thing back here is kind of loose. So all this shit is just not super tight anymore. So I think the plan is we're gonna gut the whole trunk and if the noise is still present then we'll start taking shit out of the back. Then if the noise is still present then I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna rebuild the whole suspension system then hopefully it should go away. It's not like a super concerning noise and it hasn't gotten worse over time. It's just like consistently there and I've noticed it. It's just kind of annoying. So I think we're gonna go in and try and get it solved now. So I haven't even put these back in since we're installing the coilovers because I knew I was gonna kind of find the noise like this. Like the shock towers look fine and these reinforcement plates were there already. That seems to be in pretty solid. I'll leave the battery tray cover in. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's inspiring. There's a shoot off nut. Fuck yeah. So I'm like 90% sure it's just something bouncing around. 
What is that supposed to be plugged into? It's a pretty good sized pile of stuff so far. I wonder how much that stuff weighs. There's a good chance all this stuff is going to be going back in the car at one point, but I really just want to find the noise and hope it goes away when we take all this stuff out. So I'm just sort of shaking down the whole back end, making sure everything's all nice and tight. This has like a little bit of play to it, but I don't think that's the noise. The speaker, that one seems to be fine. That one's pretty good. But like this trim piece, that thing's got a lot of play to it. Well, that's kind of interesting. See, why the fuck would you take those like four pins out and then just not put them back? Like, if you're gonna gut it, like, fucking gut it, dude. Don't, like, half-ass gut it. God. That's not even connected to anything, and it just it's just out laying around. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright. What a weird-looking thing. What is this for? Oh, yeah, it may, might be EVAP stuff. So in that case, let's leave all of that there. Alright, so I gave it a quick wipe down. Everything seems to be in pretty good shape. So nothing seems to be really loose. I don't know what the fuck is up with that, but alright. So I think I'm going to zip tie off this wiring, and then we'll probably drive around with it for a few days. And hopefully it was something stupid and simple, like one of those trim pieces or that deck flap here just like bouncing around. So I'm going to drive it around for a few days and see if the noise goes away. Hopefully it does. But everything that is in here seems to be secured pretty well. Um, I think we might take out the back seats and all that stuff. If the noise continues and if it just completely doesn't go away, then hopefully it will when we rebuild the suspension. So... Looks pretty interesting, having nothing back here. I didn't know the EVAP shit was right here. It kind of makes sense though, because it's not really up underneath the car anywhere. Breaking out the trusty scale. So we got a bin. The bin weighs... The bin weighs nothing. The bin and a 30 pound dumbbell weighs... 35.7. Jesus. Forty-seven point eight. So that's about twelve pounds. Trunk weighs about twelve pounds. I don't know. Kind of interesting to know. I kind of thought it wasn't gonna weigh nothing, so it basically weighs nothing. All right. So it's been a few days. I've driven it a couple of times, and the knock. It got a little bit louder with all the sound deadening and all that stuff out of the trunk, but it got a lot more clear, and it sounds almost like a normal suspension noise now. It doesn't sound like a really gnarly clunk, but we're going to inspect the suspension again, but one thing I haven't done, I've inspected it a handful of times, I haven't taken anything apart, so I think we're going to drop the little mounts for the trailing arm bushings and actually like physically move them and see if they're good and then I'm not going to rip the whole subframe apart right now but we're just going to give it a better once over I really want to check the trailing arm bushings so I don't know how this is going to go if the trailing arm bushings are shot I'm kind of fucked because the Thanksgiving cruise is coming up soon and I'm not going to have my replacement bushings in time to replace it but I'm getting a full polyurethane suspension rebuild kit from Garageistic then I might cop their reinforced subframe if they actually have it in stock by the time I go to order it and I'm gonna get a rear strap bar from them and some other things so it's gonna be good if I get that whole kit and it is the trailing arm bushings I think we're just gonna replace the bushings and then throw the strap bar on and then sort of hold off for the whole rebuild because I can do all that stuff in a couple of hours without ripping the entire subframe out of the car when I do the suspension rebuild we're gonna start with the rear but it's going to be like a multiple day event. Like the cars are going to be down for a while. The trailing our bushing so I could probably bang out in an afternoon. So I'm not super worried about it. So she's on the ground. We're going to get her up on stands. Get the wheels off and start taking some stuff apart. And see if we can find it. Let's 
So I mean this bushing seems like it's in pretty good shape. There's no play up or down or side to side, just in this twist and it's a little bit squeaky. Yeah, that bushing feels fine. It doesn't feel like it's fucked. Like usually when I've seen these things go, they'll like literally be side to side and up and down play in this. And this bushing is pretty solid. There's not a lot of play in that. I mean, it's weird man, nothing seems to be like super out of place. The weird thing about the clunk is that I can kind of hear it on both sides. The same thing is like fucked on both sides, you know? So I don't know. I mean the shock towers look perfectly fine. I thought it was the shock mount on the old strut we put in the BC coilovers and it's the same exact thing so it's not that. I do need new brakes, I'm not gonna lie. These are getting kind of low, but I don't think it's that. The shield seems to be pretty fine. The sway bar end links are kind of cracked, but there's like no play in it. Alright, so check this out. You guys hear that? You watch this pushing right here. As I do it, there's like a little bit of play there. Like a tiny amount. Let's take it out of gear. The parking brake off. Let's see if it still makes that noise. I think that's it, man. I don't think it's a wheel bearing though because the caliper doesn't move relative to the rotor. You know, this backing plate shield doesn't move either. That must be the control arm bushings. That must be it. All right, well I think we might be doing control arm bushings on this thing pretty soon. Because I'm gonna order it and if that's not it, then I'll order a set of wheel bearings. We might be doing some rear end work on that car before we even rebuild the whole thing, so. All right, so I'll keep you guys updated on the game plan. I think we're gonna order those bushings tonight. Hopefully they get in here within the next few days. So I might order them tomorrow, I'll probably call around, but we're gonna be doing control arm bushings pretty soon, and if that wasn't it, then we're gonna be doing a wheel bearing pretty soon. A set of wheel bearings pretty soon. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh, and I'll see you guys later. We are, we are reaching for the stars